I am. Bonnie Scotland. I'm pretty fresh on the road. I only left a couple days ago. But time when you're traveling just goes like whoop and shifts and morphs a little bit. And it feels like I've been on the road for weeks. Feels like I've been out here for weeks. And my heart's just like cracking open in new ways every day. In the months leading up to this trip, it's just been like a big era of healing for me. And also the pace of my life was just crazy. Like work, 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 go, go, go. And then just to have like, like that, so much stillness. You know, I was on the phone with a friend yesterday and I was saying just how incredibly healing it is to be in a position where I'm making all of the decisions purely for my own pleasure. Like everything that I'm doing is just because I want to do it. Just like so liberating to do it all just for me. You know those full circle moments? Those times of intense love and awe, you realize everything that has happened has brought you here. That equation of experiences is truly a miracle and you're filled with gratitude for every inch of your journey. Enlivened by the mystery of a possibility and what could come next. It makes you feel like magic is alive. And it is. Magic is alive in metaphor. It exists in spirit, in place, in animals, plants, sky, dirt, sun, rocks, water, skin. Magic is alive in kinship, in connection. Love is magic, and the mystery of love is alive and waiting to be revealed. Magic is in story, in metaphor, in tale, in moral, in guide, in caution, in imagination. And magic is in nature, a current thrumming beneath it all. So how else does a ring of mushrooms grow? How else do you, at the perfect moment, meet the stare of a lone doe? How else does a blanket of fog envelop a field? How else does the sun cast a starlight onto a bubbling brook? A part of me is landing here. I feel so held by the earth, and simultaneously my heart is so free. It's as still as the world can be. I'm transparent and the wind blows through me like a canyon. And all of a sudden, life seems so loud. All of me is empty here, but simultaneously held. The rocks are my anchors. I hold them as tethers to the ground. Tethers to the tangible as my heart and spirit fly, fly, fly. Pulling over to furiously scribble poetry, asking Siri to commune with me, but we don't speak the same language of wild things. Around the corner, another waterfall, another mossy green forest bed, third gear to fourth to fifth to third to fifth again. A six leaf clother in a field of three. I was so grateful he left me. Tin Tesco soup, foxgloves and nettle, a heart that finally feels settled. Dancing on the hill, dancing in the woods, dancing in my heart, dancing in the driver's seat, dancing with the words gifted to me and through me, fairies in the cross, saints and golden eagles, and bubbling brooks, and wild white ravines, and sacred wells, and old mountains, and little old me. Crying tears that marry sorrow and gratitude, crying heaving sobs at the beauty of it all, the freedom of it all. Black tea or black tea, snail shells and pink rocks, first aid kit and rising Appalachia. Sweet hours of slowness I marinate in before the next adventure. Old friends in new places, new friends in old ones. Wind whipped skin and constantly wet socks, waving at strangers in passing places, potholes up to my calves. A relentless wind who speaks of silence. The unknown whispering, kissing, teasing my spirit, slowing down snail's pace, listening, listening beyond listening. I'm in love with it all. I want to stay here for longer. I could turn invisible and be swallowed by it forever. <laughs>